Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So I am in actions for PF as we speak now they have already lost before we even reach 2026 so those of you who are thinking no 2026 2026 you you this election of 2026 has already been lost by pf because of valungu standing in front so as much as you are trying to fight with me you are wasting your time you are wasting your time to fight with me because, I mean, for me, Nakula Mistafe Filonda, Nakula Mistafe Filonda, Nakula Mistafe Filonda, and at the end of the day, PF will go down. But I just wanted to quickly talk about the issue of of Obasanjo and the insincerity of uh, uh, President uh, Edgar Edgar Shogalung. You see, before before the handing over of power, remember that President Hakainde Ichirema and uh, Edgar Shogalung met, and uh, among the people that were in that meeting, there were a number of them. Remember, there was Arabi, there was. Uh, uh, Jakaya Kikwete, former president of Tanzania, and uh, uh, I think also uh, Kelvin Bwada Fube, Fube, KBF, uh, as well as other people accompanying, accompanying Edgar Chagwalungu. In that meeting, in that meeting, before the election, uh, before uh, the handing over of power, when they were negotiating, when President Edgarun was wanting to do a petition and whatever, whatever, they ended up negotiating to say, look, you have lost hand over power nicely. And one of the concerns was that uh, Edgarun will be arrested for whatever reasons. And there was an agreement that by Edgar Lungu will not be arrested. I want you to follow me very well. There was an agreement that Edgar Lungu will not be arrested. Will not be arrested. And he in turn, he will retire as a statesman. He will be a former president as a statesman. This agreement was there. This agreement was there. HH was not to uh, you know, arrest uh, President Edgar Chagwalungu. On the other hand, Edgar Chagwalungu was to remain a statesman. There were people in that meeting that have come out to tell us this, to tell the story, including Arabi before he died. They were there. There was this agreement. Now, so far, we have not seen the arrest of President Edgar Chagwalungu. And some of you might say, no, he has nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing against him. For which, you know, uh, Hakainde Ichima can remove immunity on him. I will repeat that. Some of you think that there is nothing against Edgar Lungu, which can make Haka Inde Ichilema remove the immunity, move parliament to remove the immunity. I want to tell you that you are dead wrong. If you think that there is nothing that Haka Inde Ichilema has, find, has found which can make him remove the immunity, you are dead wrong on that. President Edgar Chagarungu was president, was Republican president. You can't tell me that being in power for seven years, there is nothing that Haka Inde Ichirema can lay his hands on and 
convince parliament to remove immunity. If you think like that, you are naive. If you think like that, you are naive. If you think that Haka Inde Ichirema has not found anything to warrant removing the immunity of Edgar Chagualung, you are very naive. You are very naive. Because there are a number of cases. There are a number of cases. If, if really President Haka Inde Ichirema wants to just remove immunity, some of you like to say, no, you are a bad person. Then you start disclosing things. I want you to take note that I have only said there are a number of cases which Haka Inde Ichirema can pick on and remove immunity. But because Walungu is my friend, because Walungu is somebody I love, I will not go down to start saying, you see there is this case, you see there is this case. I cannot go that far. So, ima to PF wawale wat, no, ule tukawa rungu, no, you are disclosing what in karma. No, you have turned against Walungu personally. No, I have not turned against Walungu personally. Because if I attend against Walungu personally, I would sit here and start telling you to say, this case, this case, this case, but I will not go there. I will not go there. I will end there. And even if I were sitting with Haka in the HDM, I would not be the one to say, hey, hey, he can you have any immunity? And take my Edgar Lungu Kukoti. I would never do that. I would never do that. But I have seen some of you, you are talking as if death me in karma. Death your now, in a fun no. If we have secrets between us, if we have shared stories in confidence, I will never come on social media and bring out. No matter how much we are going to differ. No matter. I can never do that. I can never do that. And I'm saying this in public. I can never do that. Because so I cannot be the one. I cannot be the one to drag him that route. No. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. But the point I want you to know is that don't think that Ed, uh, Haka in the Ichirema has nothing which he can pick on to remove immunity. If you think like that, then you are naive. Then you are naive. Munkonke wino wino pantu mweba mweba mu sometimes you lose logic. I am talking about that there was an agreement where Haka in the Ichirema Pledge that no, promised I will not arrest this man. I will not remove his immunity. And by Edgar Lungu was no, no, even me, I am, I've stopped. I'm a politics, see, I've stopped. Uh, I'm even writing a letter of resignation. I'm even writing a letter of resignation. But, and two years down the line, indeed, by, by Edgar Lungu has not been arrested. Has not been arrested. And the point is, he has not been arrested, not because there is nothing that Haka in the HM has found which he can use to remove immunity. It is because Haka in the HM is holding on to the promise that he made, that I will not arrest this man. He is holding on to that. He is holding on to that. If it was not for that, I can assure you there are a number of cases that were Edgar Chagwalungu would have had his immunity removed. Recently, remember President Haka in the HM was saying that we, I mean, there are a person and the number of cases. I can point at them and look, 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 look. But I will not go there. But recently, President Haka in the HM said, we have gathered enough evidence. We have gathered enough evidence. So if you have gathered enough evidence, if he's talking about gathering enough evidence, you think that that evidence. Edgar Lungu will not be part of it. Are you telling me really? Are you? And Walungu, even Walungu have any, if he's really sincere, if he's really sincere, can he say to this country to say, no, there is nothing? If he's really sincere, can he? <laughs> Let us 
us be sincere. That's what that, that, that's my aid. Let us be sincere. Because if you claim to be righteous, then you are inviting others to show how dead you are. I will repeat that one. If you if you if you know that you know you are you are not that innocent, don't come out and start you know showing to people that you are very innocent. Don't this is a fact. Don't come out and be proud. Start beating yourself on the chest to say, I'm not like that sinner. Me, I'm a good man. Don't. Because when you do that, when you do that, other people will will endeavor to show that actually you are not that you are not that clean. So in a, what I'm saying is that Maluhu must be very, very sincere in the way that he conducts himself, especially in, in, in his public life. Because if he doesn't, he might invite other people to show that, no, after all, this man is not really who you think he is. This is just how life is. If you come out on the pedestal to proclaim your innocence, that you are righteous, you can invite other people to come out and show how dead you are and show what a sinner you are. And this is the risk that our Edgar Chagwalungu is facing right now. From my point of view, he's surviving because Haka Ishima is still holding on to that promise that this man, I promise not to touch him. I don't think it is from the point of view that he has nothing. I don't think so. I don't think so. And if you think like that, well, you are entitled to your opinion, but I can assure you, you are being naive. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondu. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.